Hey everyone, sorry I haven't been making videos recently, it's mainly been because my mic hasn't been working and I finally got a new one so I can start making them again. Okay, so today we'll be covering Addison's disease, it's a part of the maintaining a balance topic and the dot point states, present information to outline the general use of hormone replacement therapy in people who cannot secrete adolstrone. So um, if you can remember, what is adolstrone? Adolstrone is basically that hormone that is produced in the adrenal glands inside your body and is then released into the, well, near the, or into the distal tubules of your kidney. This hormone actually allows for the regulation of salt and water concentration. Okay, so that's a, a brief outline of the hormone adolstrone. You'll learn more about it, uh, or you should have already learned about it, in the Maintaining a Balance, Topic Area 3. So let's let's firstly look at what actually is Addison's disease. What is Addison's disease? So Addison's disease is a disorder in the endocrine system where the adrenal glands cannot produce sufficient hormones, such as mainly aldosterone and additionally cortisol. Cortisol we haven't actually really looked into, and for this it's not that important. It's just an extra fact that you might want to know. Really, what we're looking at is aldosterone and why that's so important to replace and why Addison's disease is, you know, such a, a bad disease and how we replace aldosterone through something called hormone replacement therapy. Okay, so um, you, you now know what Addison's disease is, so we'll quickly move on to how many people does it actually affect. So it affects 1 in 100,000 people, which is quite a lot. It's, it is actually pretty popular, and um, if you think about it, Australia's population is 22 million 20, around 22 to 23 million. So um, if you calculate it, it's, it's a quite a big number at the end. It does affect many people. Yeah, so there are some problems that people face with it, and that's mainly that without appropriate amounts of adulterin, the body is unable to maintain water and salt concentrations effectively. We did talk about that before, about adulterin, and how that's the, the main thing that helps us retain sodium and helps us, you know, excrete sodium depending on what we need, as well as, you know, it, in general, it helps our body to maintain water and salt concentration. So in Addison's disease, without that hormone, we obviously can't do that. And um, th that's the biggest problem that people face from having Addison's disease. Because of that, they have to have a daily dosage of a tablet, which is uh, a part of the hormone replacement therapy. So um, that that's the main thing, that's the main uh, problems that people face from it. Okay, so how can it be treated? So that's the main part. As the dot point says here, we want to talk about the general use of the hormone replacement therapy in people who cannot secrete adolstrone. So uh, we, we've defined what Addison's disease is down here. One. And then we want to talk about the general use of um, hormone replacement theory. I'll call that number two. And that's just going to be here. And lastly, we're going to be talking about, you know, um, who can not secrete adulterin, we've already talked about it in general, so that's fine. So um, how can it be treated? It's done through the administration of medicine. It's an oral medicine, which is actually just a tablet, and it's called mineral corticoid tablets. So in your essays, in your responses, or even in your dot point summaries, I recommend you put that down somewhere, because it is important to know the scientific name. Um, and it's just literally, it's just a tablet that you take once a day, or depending on what the doctor has told you, and it helps replace the hormones that the body normally doesn't have enough of, such as adosterone and whatnot, because of Addison's disease. That is really the general use of hormone replacement theory or therapy. And um, moving on, there are some advantages of this hormone replacement therapy uh, or theory. Firstly, Addison's disease can be treated through oral medi medication, which is really good. Um, it doesn't need to have an entire operation or need to have drastic changes to the body. Um, it is possible to treat it and maintain it uh, you know, with a regular life. You don't need to change your entire lifestyle just because of this one thing. And also, there's no injections. And let's be honest, no one likes injections, so that's also a good upside. Anyways, uh, I hope this was a short video summing up what Addison's disease is and how we treat it in our bodies, as well as a few advantages and disadvantages of it. Thanks for watching.